If movement can be medicine, then we'll give this rope the title of Doctor. Hello, Doctor Rope. Hey everyone, I'm Tim, and welcome to the Way of the Rope. Now within this video I want to focus on five therapeutic benefits of a rope flow practice. Now there are other benefits when it comes to movement, biomechanical benefits, athleticism that you can get from a rope flow practice as well, but I will focus on that in a separate video. For this one, it's more the mind, body and soul all encompassed benefits that I've noticed and other people in the rope flow community have highlighted as well. The first benefit I want to talk about when it comes to swinging an old piece of rope around is the benefits to the health of our joints. Now, as the old saying goes, if you don't use it, you lose it. Many of us, yes, maybe we still move, we may still go to the gym or we may still run, but often we're stuck in the habits and patterns of movement that we've done for the past few decades. What the rope does is it encourages us to kind of break free from the movement patterns that we might already have and over emphasize the end ranges and the corners of our movement patterns. So we get into the depths of corners that we might not do on a day-to-day -day basis. As well as that, and part of that, it encourages rotational movement, not only of the rib cage and the spine, but of the, the limbs as well. So as I'm crossing over here, I'm not just sticking my arm out this way, which you might do in like a yoga practice, but I'm rotating as well, which is getting the end range. It's, it's ringing the hand out and the muscles and the tendons and the fascia and the joints like a rope as I'm over here and then coming this way. So what it's doing is it's putting this, this figure of eight motion through every joint, through the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the hips, the ankles, putting this figure eight path and then if we go in the opposite direction as well it does the figure of eight this infinity symbol in the opposite direction so every joint yes some joints are, are made to go up and down like that but we can still add a little hint of direction or that way in a direction or that way and it will help just to ring out and maximize and, and wake up these joints in a healthy therapeutic way where it's not impact where we're not just swinging a heavy weight around or throwing something where we can you know jar and there's there's dynamic impact there's a, a gentle resistance with the rope that allows us to therapeutically engage the joints. Now on that note of joint health, and I want to specifically hone in on the spine alone, as I've just said, every joint goes through this figure eight path. Now there's 33 bones that make up the spine. The spine is designed to go in six directions. Tilt left, tilt right, rotate left, rotate right, and then bend forward, flex, and extend. Those are the six directions. Now, as I say, in many of our day-to-day -day lives, we don't really kind of hit the end ranges or even use most of these six directions. When we do this figure of eight pattern, it forces us to use all six directions of movement. And you do the figure eight pattern in the other direction, and then you use your grease in the groove in both directions. So compared to a spinal wave, which is all very well and good for the spine health, that's just flexion and extension at different points of the spine. The figure of eight gives us four more ranges of motion than just a spinal wave. So it does joint health, and we know how important it is to have a healthy spine. It really does spine health as well. Number two, very much in a similar note to that when we talk about joint health, is talking about circulation. When we are, once again, going to these end ranges of the body, when we're adding rotation, we're not just stretching, we're adding rotation to our movement. We're going deep into the corners of the body, deep into these ranges of motion, encouraging blood flow and circulation and blowing out those old cobwebs. Number three, and another one of the unique benefits that I've found with a rope flow practice compared to many other forms of practice and exercise out there is that it's very low impact. We call this a working in rather than a working out compared to something like running or strength and weight training or CrossFit, something like that. It's very low impact. We're not even jumping off the ground. So if you have got knee issues, ankle issues, it's a way to move the body without causing stress to these parts of the body. So it's kind of similar in many ways to something like a yoga practice or even more similar, I think, something like Qigong or Tai Chi, where it's slow, controlled, mindful movement without a high heart rate, without loads of you know, pumping and sweat everywhere. Um, although, of course, you can turn it into a workout as well. But if you want it to be working in, it's very much uh, an internal practice where as the ropes connecting the left and the right hand, it's completing this circuit and what is happening more than the external visual representation of what you see with a rope flow practice is what is going on within the person's body and there's just something magical about when the left hand and the right hand are talking to each other through the rope and moving in perfect harmony 
that is very much testimony to what working in is about and what a low impact mindful practice can do for us internally. The fourth benefit I wanted to list is one that I personally noticed quite strongly when I first got into rope flow practice and that is its benefits to our digestion. What is happening inside us between our, our rib cage and our hips is all of these organs exist to help process the food that we, that we put into our bodies. Now if we don't use the body the way it was fully designed and we keep this kind of locked and stiff or we don't hit these end ranges well we can rely on gravity to do most of the work and of course it will get there but if you want to aid digestion one thing i've heard come up is as soon as you've eaten your meal go for a 10 minute walk this helps because you've got the, the gentle bounce you know with gravity assisting the side to side motion well you can grab a rope you don't need to take a step in the street you can step into your garden or even shorten your rope in your house and this rolling action, this infinity symbol, well, it's all plumbing in here. And as we are gently bobbing from side to side, we're contracting and expanding each side and we're just gently massaging the organs together in this figure eight motion. And that just helps to break everything down, jiggle everything about and help us to just digest that little bit easier. Number five, moving on from sort of the physical benefits of a rope flow practice to the mental one, and that is how a rope flow practice can help harmonize our brain and our mind and center us, calm us down, help us to enter a flow state. Now, many of us may know that the left side of the brain controls the right hand and the right side of the brain controls the left hand and vice versa. When we work with our right hand, that helps to build and stimulate the left side of our brain. When we work with our left hand, that helps to build and stimulate the right side of the brain, as well as this center line action. When I use my right hand and I cross over the center line and have to use it on the left part of my body, that helps to harmonize the brain waves as well. So a rope flow practice, we've got all of that going on. You've got the right hand moving, but you've got the left hand moving in sync with the right hand as well. So we're, we're learning this non-dominant. We've not just chosen our dominant hand to do everything. We've got a non-dominant hand moving equally as well, or the intention is to get it to move equally. And then we've also got this crossing centerline action going on. Performance coach named Deborah Cruz at Arizona State University. And I went out and met her because I was all into this brain balance. And what she did was she would take a, a, a cap with all these electrodes on it that measured your brain waves. And then what she determined was that if you can get into some form of flow, alternating bilateral patterning, crossing midline, the motor and sensory cortices of the brain will sync naturally because you have to from a motor sensory standpoint. Mm -hmm. And that resonance can now spread throughout the brain globally to create a harmonic state. So how about just five or 10 minutes of rope flow practice in the morning, right after breakfast perhaps, before you start your day, you go into work, you're studying for an exam or you're about to take an exam. It could be useful as a movement snack throughout the day on your lunch break or when you get back from work just to help declutter the mind. It just seems that it's a really good tool to harmonize the hemispheres of the brain, center the mind, help you to enter that flow state so that you can absorb a little better or that you can recall a little better or that you can move on a little better from what you've just been doing really good therapeutic meditative tool is the rope. As usual, I've got a bonus one here for you. Now we've touched four on the therapeutic benefits to the body, one on the mind, I've got to touch on the soul. Now, a rope flow practice is fun. It's not a steep learning curve. It's not like learning a language or the violin or golf or martial arts or ballet, something like that. You can pick up a rope and within the first session, you can be doing positive patterns for your body, for your mind, that are enjoyable, so it's not a steep learning curve, it's, it's very steady progress the whole way. I don't know many people who've picked up a rope, mastered the first two or three primary patterns, and not enjoyed themselves along the way. It's learning a new skill, but it's a skill that's fairly easy to do, that benefits the body and the mind in many ways, and in the process, we enjoy it. When we enjoy it, we feel happy. When we feel happy, everything benefits. We can all anecdotally attest for the power of happiness as a therapy on our health. Now, I have to put a disclaimer and be clear and sincere that the rope is not a tool to solve all of your problems. Um, a lot of issues you may face physically and mentally are, comes, in my belief, come from an emotional root cause, which until we get to that emotional root cause, we cannot truly move on from these issues. They will remain stored within us, in your heart, in your soul, somewhere until the time when you're ready to feel and release those emotional strains that you hold on yourself. 
but the rope as a tool to play with along the way when there's a lot of practices that are like I say very high impact very demanding uh, can be negatively addictive and negatively impactful on the body I think the rope falls into a much more positive and productive practice for the body and mind in the times we're currently in now often people want to pigeonhole practices and what does rope flow fit into is it like uh, yoga and pilates and qigong or is it like a biomechanical practice like gota or functional patterns or a crossfit type movement where we can have competitions with it now i think it's very much its own complete unique beast i hope to do my best in the future to try and define it for what it is within that but it crosses all these spectrums of things and yet it's so much more as well and maybe you the viewer watching this feel how unique and special this practice is as well so those are my top five therapeutic benefits from old Dr. Rope. Which ones are your favorite that you've noticed of the ones I mentioned? Or is there any that I've missed that you think I should have put in? Please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, then I can ask you to do me a small favor and hit that like button and it helps us to get this information about this simple medicine to more people. And I know I don't need to ask you to subscribe because I know that you know, if you already want to, how to do it. Now, if you yourself want to try a rope flow practice or deepen the practice that you already have, check out wearetherope.com where we have a variety of weights of ropes and we have courses as well. The main one I recommend people to start is the eight week to fluidity course. And if you want more tips from me or discount for wearetherope.com, sign up to our newsletter down below. Or if you want to stay on this channel and check out more content from us, check this video here. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.